It's showtime! Rico Aver dives out to the early lead and goes to the high side. He'll win the whole shot and lead him down the backstretch. Side by side for second. Here comes Lockie McHugh for second. One off the pace, looks like gathers it back up. Seb Wise appeared to be off the pace there for a moment. The Race for Dean Foundation 26 and loses a lot of spots. Falls back to 21st as Aver leads lap one. Tyler Courtney right to the outside of the 25 of Lockie McHugh. He plants that Hoosier tire on the rims here and limit third track. Tyler Courtney all over. Lockie McHugh slide job for third. He's got him off a turn four. Tyler Courtney into the third spot. McHugh tries to cross him up and come to the inside, but Courtney takes the spot. Well, this time by, we've got 10 left, so we've only got two handfuls of laps for Rico Abreu. Can he make this a start to finish lead and win, or is Brent Marks gonna be able to catch up? I mean, whether it's been in traffic or whether it's been wide open, Rico's been able to pull away at the crucial moments, and right now, Abreu is doing it to him, coming out of three and four. Oh! Red flag, 65, Jordan Goldsberry upside down on the front stretch, the bumper to bumper IRA sprint car points leader that won at 141 Speedway. So here's a replay for those of you on Flow Racing and watching the grandstands on the big screen. And it looked like Hickle maybe trying to get down to the infield and Goldsberry nowhere to go. A flat right rear on JJ Hickles. Green flag flies with 10 to go. A great restart. The shop repo.com 24. He goes to the high or the bottom side. You gotta think maybe protecting his slide job and stays down there and gets a big run. Anthony Macri to third. Tyler Courtney right there, back to the back bumper. Macri battling for the final podium spot. Macri off the bottom, Courtney on the high side. Chris Wyndham has made his way back into the top five. There goes Macri for a heck of a move and a battle for a second between Macri and Marks as the lap start to wind down. Eight to go this time. Macri coming alive. He'll take second with eight to go. Macri said he was coming to Wisconsin specifically to win another guitar. Last week he got the bull set, one of his favorite trophies, and he goes after his other favorite tonight here. Can he track down Rico with seven to go? Things are gonna get interesting though here, Ray, as we greet the back of the pack. Macri's got lap cars on the bottom, circling right where he wants to be. Rico runs the bottom in one and two, but goes high in three and four. Well, in the distance he's closing in, that lap traffic might not make a difference. And Marks but right here there. Here comes Brett Marks again for this battle for second. Three laps to go for $26,000. Macri throws a slider on Marks. Oh boy, they make contact. That's a huge advantage for Rico Abreu right there. Oh, he had to know. He doesn't know that happened, but he has got to be happy that that happened. That just opened and the door for Abreu. Look at Wyndham rolling the bottom. Chris Wyndham rolling the bottom to fourth. Oh boy, Macri throws. Into the back bumper of the 19 and Brett Marks, Chris Windham to second. We are having an absolute heavyweight title bout for second as Rico runs away, white flag flying. Rico works off a of turn number two. The fifth annual Race Redeem Foundation race, $26,000. Off a of turn number four, Rico Abreu wins the Race Redeem Foundation race. Second to Marks, third to Windham, fourth to Macri, fifth to Sunshine. 